Hi, my name is Herrera Rupala. My uh, artist's name is Bernardo Bellotti. The piece, his name is called The Entrance to a Palace with a Portrait of Avoid Franceschi Celesi Potocchi. It's an oil painting. For line qualities, you can see the vertical lines on the pillars, horizontal lines on the roofs, diagonal lines on the statues, and also people. Also, there's some curved lines around the people and also the statues. For the types of lines, there are no actual lines, but there are implant lines like you can see on the pillars and also the people and statues. There are contours of lines, as you can see on the edges of the pillars, on the arcs, and you don't see any outlines because they, they are all implied. There's shading, but I'm not sure if it's for the line, but they're for colors. Texture, you can see it on the people. There's line movement. You can see that people um, look like they're walking. Some of them are diagonal. There's shapes, geometric shapes on the windows, arcs, stairs, and even the pillars. There are geometric shapes on the windows. As you can see, they're rectangled. Some of the decorations, which are circles, arcs, triangles. There are also some circles on the arcs, as you can see here. The roof, which there's angles. There's organic shapes, which are the people. And also on the statues. There's figure ground relationships. The people are the figure, the buildings can be the ground. For light, there's some value. You see some chiaroscuro on the people's clothes. Look at those jackets. You can see some difference in value. You see some shading. There is graduations of value along the arcs to give some perspective of shade. There are primary colors. There are tints and shades of red. And also, on the secondary colors, there's tints and shades of green. Oh, forgot to mention, there's some tints and shades of blue. There are neutral colors on the buildings. Overall, this makes the scenery warm. There's implied texture, as you can see for the clothes, and also the man's beard. You can see it on, on the buildings. They could feel, or if you could feel it, it could be hard. For space, the background is the buildings, even the sky over here. For the foreground is obviously the people, even the dog. And then there's the middle ground, which is the fountains, the people on the stairs. There's obvious overlapping between the people over here and here and overall all over the buildings. This could be a diminishing, diminishing size because of the foreground middle ground and background but overall this painting is a linear perspective as you can see the lines all converge almost to the statues even the shadows point to the statues there's some unity and variety on the windows even though they look the same they're different designs as you can see there's arcs and triangles some of the windows are open, and also these arcs, the stairs, even this fence, which has the same design. The building could be a formal balance, but it's not because of the different uh, variations of it, and also it just shows half of it. Meanwhile, it's a symmetrical balance because the building is almost perfect, and also there's some people that, well, gives symmetry. The focal point can be the fountain. Most of the light from the sun goes through it. And also the link perspectives try to make this look at the statues. This concludes my art analysis from Bernardo Bellotti. Uh, I'm Harry Lopala. Uh, thanks for watching.